Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The American is 31, the Brazilian is 40. He weighed in at 205 pounds. The reach is identical. We set it inside the octagon, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he's looking. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Introducing the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. A very bad decision. Nice punch there by Shasane Souza. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice jab 
by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Jacare Souza there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And they separate. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. Now he's got him hurt bad. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Jacare Souza. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Here's the kick blocked by Jacare Souza there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice punch by Lee. Nice body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie now. 90 seconds now to go in round one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice work with the hands there by Jacare de Souza. A few fights ago, he moved from Brazil to Orlando, Florida. And really, since aligning with Julian Williams and James Taylor, a lot of people feel like Souza has taken his striking to that requisite next level. Doing a pretty good job here tonight so far. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch, Lance. That was a thudding leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. 45 seconds remain in the round. Punch is blocked. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Telegraph that spinning back fist. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. 
He's even thrown a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Shakade gets hit with a kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the straight right. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice kiss here. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop. You come twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Head kick there blocked by Lee. Roundhouse now just misses. Grind it out. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, good kicks. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice, sneaky head kick. Strong punch there by Souza. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. It's there, take down. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, big punch land. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, Souza's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling.
All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Hands high, hands high. Nice body kick right under the elbow. <laughs> Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. The kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Straight right hand counter, useful. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Digging kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Throws the right hand there. Nice punch by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well placed kick there by Lee. And he goes back to the high kick now and he lands again. Big body kick lands. Beautiful punch. What a tricky head kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. One, two there. Souza's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. What a body kick. How about that shin? As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Great punch. Oh, nice hook by Lee. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, 
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Slips the punch. Just unable to quite find that range. And lands the left there. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat, who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, just misses with the kick. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Not there. The timely defense there, huge block for him. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, big head kick. Just over three minutes to go. That one's not here. Nice right. Beautiful head kick. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Jacare Souza. They continue to exchange. Big punch lands through the middle. Sousa's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Big head kick lands. Straight right hand now just misses. Lands with a right hand. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Missed with that jab attempt. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes <laughs> visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times it was nice, at times it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> oh, nice punch there by Sosa. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him.
unable to connect there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Ooh, what a head kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, Lance Flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big leg kick land. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Effective punch there by Lee. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real quick leg kick. Kick there by Lee. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. It almost looked like he went lived there for a second. Real sneaky body kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Again, going back. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now. He's out! Whoa, whoa. That was nasty! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy tonight. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, 